Oh, we have a zombie coming in. Crap, this is not going the way I wanted to. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh crap. Hello everyone, my name is Sick. Welcome back to State of the K2. We are playing update 33 early right now it is in a beta release version this is episode 6 and today i want to focus on nearby allies maybe recruit another uh, member to our little community here because we only have four people everyone is injured it would be good to have some extra people in the roster so that the others have more time to heal uh, we could actually choose a leader today as well we could build a sniper tower and luxury barracks as well which is pretty good because we would we would be able to get a lot of extra people with uh, a, a large facility like that and we could also make a generator free one fuel per day and no noise so that we would have power that is actually really good and definitely worth considering uh, as for our base, we have plenty of resources. Uh, we could go with for one more outpost though. So that is definitely something I am interested in. We can also look at upgrading certain things, but we need access to uh, yeah, a bunch of things. Now, as far as our income, we are losing food. Only two per day and we have 14. We can manage, but we could also upgrade our farm. For that, however, we need access to water. So one of our outposts could be, uh, yeah, a water outpost. There's one around. All right, well, we have a character. She is slightly wounded. Her stamina is slightly low. Uh, I have learned by now that it is quite important to bring along a gun. Really, literally a lifesaver. <coughs> So, I'm going to take along the P07 Pro with some extra ammo. How are we on backpacks, by the way? Only six slots available. Well, this is great, but we'll need water eventually. Right, so we can have a look around for water. Uh, this would actually... Uh, it's an espresso stand. It gives a morale bonus and can gain or improve cooking. But it doesn't really provide us with water. So we are going to have to keep an eye out for that. It's probably going to be one of these uh, buildings out on the edge of a town. But yeah, we need to do some more uh, scouting around to really know. Now I definitely want to improve the amount of people that we have because then we can also go to bigger outposts, like more and more distributing right there. Seems very promising, but we need six people, but two large outdoor slots, nine small indoor slots and five small outdoor slots. That is significant. It is a huge amount of building space. I don't know if there's better ones as well, but yeah, we're not quite there yet. So it's time to head into town. Uh, oh, my car is on the other side. Well, I'll just go there and I'll see you guys whenever I'm in town in just a second. All right, we're in town and a nearby group of survivors actually asked us to uh, help them find uh, medicines. Bye -bye. That is something we might do. Uh, we can also have a look around because if I remember correctly, these guys know how to fix cars. One of these guys might be extremely useful as a member to our community. Like, oh, munitions. Yeah, that was a good one. I remember I needed, needed it for something. Shooting was really good, fighting was really good, really good, discipline really good, cardio. That guy is really, really strong. Um, and I think they will do more good in our community than as an ally outside of our community. So this guy is really good, very powerful, powerhouse, endurance, assault, all of that, really, really strong. Doesn't have another trait, but he could learn it through a book and then improving on it. But I think this guy with munitions, the definitely the way to go. I am going to recruit this guy to our community. So we want you on our team. Them? Not so much. Unfortunately, the only choice here is to disband the group. Um, and on top of that, yeah, now the other guys are running away. This guy, however, is joining us, but we don't have enough beds. But we can actually 
upgrade the sheltered beds that we have at the cost of eight materials and one daily materials upkeep once upgraded but it will keep morale up uh, we will lose minus two materials a day after this so uh, i also would really want an up yeah, an outpost where we can get some materials we have the gun we have the medical station the gun shop we definitely need water but we could get it through uh, an up upgrade maybe materials would be more important but oh i don't like that all right so the nearby group of survivors actually not that far away let's go ahead and set a meet up all right we have arrived let's meet the neighbors shall we Don't remember the person I need to talk to, but probably Kathy. Yeah, alright. Look, I get it, we're not exactly friends, but we're desperate for meds. Can you help? Uh, I don't have any on me, but I'll try to scrounge some up. Yeah, I had a look at my outpost. We emptied it out, so there's nothing there. Um, I think I also cleaned out this building already, pretty much. And so do we clean out most of the other ones but there is another abandoned clinic just down the road so i'm going to go ahead and uh, drive over there and see if we can find a bag for these people we have more than enough i don't actually need any more for my own outpost so it's not really that bad there we go <laughs> but yeah it could be a bit of an issue in the future when we start contracting blood plague and we need to make medicines and there will be more of a daily upkeep. I think we already have a bit of a daily upkeep in terms of medicines. Yeah, minus one a day because of the infirmary that we have. So definitely something to keep an eye on. But for now, we are okay. And I can search this abandoned clinic. We might find some other banks as well. I might as well take them over. Find useful stuff. All right, we'll take the alcohol, bag of snacks, because why not? I might dump it later when we find something more useful, of course. But for now, you know, I'll, I'll grab what I can, unless That's it's really nice. useless. This one, however, the jugs of ethanol, always good. It's an upgrade, or it's something that you need for certain building upgrades anyway. So always useful to grab if you have the space. Ooh, cleaning station. Includes a wash basin and cleaning supplies. Installed as modern infirmary to improve recovery from partial blood plague infection. I don't know if I have that. I do not. And yeah, that is that is great, actually. That will really help us out. We've lost touch with the soldiers carrying out Operation Drawbridge. I'm desperately hoping that someone out there can provide information on my missing troops. All right, there we go. I'm your Huckleberry. Who is this? My name is Kelly Eldridge the Third, but you can call me Sasquatch. <laughs> I don't know that call sign. Are you with Red Talon? Ma'am, I'm with America and Freedom. But if you need oh. someone to go into the shit and find your men, then yeah, I'm with Red Talon. I got two of these machines now. Interesting. All right, we'll uh, throw those in the trunk. They're heavy as hell. We've got the cleaning station, sanitizing machine. I don't know which one is better, actually. Probably they're both equal, and it doesn't really matter. But anyway, else it's home. nice to have uh, the option. Uh, they don't really take up space once they're in the inventory of our base. So as far as that is concerned, yeah, it's, uh, we, it's just safe to take it along. We'll search this last uh, container. See We're what is inside. Here. Ooh, and we upgraded our wits level. That's great. We can specialize. We can now do either scouting or discipline. So let's see. Increased scouting range, enemy detection, and gun durability, or increased stamina, light encumbrance limits, and weapon durability. Uh, I think in this particular case with her, Gardening, cardio, everything being quite low, I'll go with scouting, I think. It's always useful to have. 
we'll get some early warnings for enemy uh, or special zombies that might be around. Anything else that we could do here? Like we could turn this into a materials collection outpost, but we don't have the influence to do so right now, I think. I'm not entirely sure how much I actually need, but I we'll have a look. Places like this. 300. All right. That is not the worst. We can uh, make some influence by helping out these people. I have some nice things like the carton that I can trade for some more influence. And then hopefully over time, you know, we'll, uh, we'll make up enough influence to actually get that outpost. I'm still hoping for a facility upgrade that provides me water. Even if it's just for the one, that is absolutely fine. All right. I won't forget this. A hundred influence Later. right there, and then now we can talk to them, and we can also trade with them. Their business partner. And we have the All bottle right. of American single malt, a luxury item. Gives me a hundred and two influence actually, so that is really good. And now we have three hundred and three influence. Uh, we can also trade out uh, this one. And uh, the rest we will keep for ourselves. But those luxury items, always really good for trade. I'm going to need to find some... Uh, yeah, we have a recruit now as well. That's nice. So what would he do if he was to be... He would be the sheriff. First priority is to protect innocent and deliver swift justice to those who would harm them. Well, look at this. Knowledge of chemistry and knowledge of munitions. Plus 10 max ammo storage really really useful anyway i need to find some fuel pretty soon uh, i'm not sure where i can go to we have a cell tower over here as a signal booster dirty bird espresso that's not really great uh, we'll keep looking i guess these guys are now friendly and yeah that's about it i'm taking this back to base and then i'll see you guys in a second Alright, we also have a new group of people over here. Ooh, they have a nice car. We can go ahead and try to get to, uh, to know them, I guess. This car is really good. I think it's pretty fuel efficient. The Vagabond. Ooh, okay. And also, it should have quite a bit of storage. Oh, crap. Oh, the other one didn't die, huh? Right, well, this is helping me out a little bit. Just uh, going to come on in and say hi, you know. Don't know if we can really do anything. Jaden, hey. Cooking. Alright, not particularly... Yeah, it's nice, but it's not particularly great, I guess. Movie trivia. Okay, keeps people in a little bit happier maybe, I don't know. Chemistry, we already have that. So this group, uh, nobody that I really want to recruit from. I don't know if they uh, own this vehicle in particular. Ooh, improvised suppressor, gas can. I don't think they, they don't use vehicles. I don't think they uh, can claim anything here. Now that's heavy. So... I'm dumping this one in favor of the Vagabond, and hopefully that is not going to upset them. But let's have a look. Nothing bad so far. Alright, took out a Screamer, got some extra influence for that. Ah, that reminds me, we could go for the Materials Outpost, right? Well, we'll go to that in a, in a second, I guess. Maybe there's another place that we can use as a materials outpost. For now, anyway, it's not really necessary. We're doing quite fine. Oh. Alright, so we, we didn't seem to have pissed off the other group of people. That's nice. Alright, we'll dump all of this into the base, including the suppressor, because this thing actually has a really long reload time. We'll dump all of this into base, including that. And we will install 
something in our infirmary. So 25% infection recovery in 50%. Ah, so it does All make right. a, a difference. But, oh, this requires power. We don't have power right now. So we'll install the cleaning station. All right, dead axles gone missing. All right. First of all, though, um, I don't know where these guys, where those guys are. These are guys are the local talents. These guys are the newcomers. Uh, oh, these guys have a missing person. Yeah, this was the road trip that we did before. Ooh. Oh, this thing got awakened. I didn't quite remember that because the, the video that I put up this week, uh, actually I was going to put it up much sooner. Both of these are awake. So they're going to send out infections and hordes and so quick. on. Anyway, we have a community quest here as well through Weber. I want to find a plane and like, take it for a spin. It's uh, so much fun. I don't know what his quest is exactly. Sheriff, meet the neighbors. Sure, why not? It will improve his status within the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, he also has a big backpack with eight slots. He has an ultralight axe, which is really kind of nice. A frag grenade, which I am going to dump. And a pile of weapon remains, which I'm going to dump into the base as well. And then we need to get a firearm of some kind. Alright, so we need to talk to the newcomers, so we need to go back to where we came from. I guess that is part of the quest that uh, got uh, started when this guy joined. Alright, so we have a Hunter's Model 70. I guess it will have to do, we'll equip it, we'll grab some rifle rounds for it. We'll do a reload, so we have one extra... Uh, round in the chamber Now the plan here then is to not get into any firefights and to just uh, Use this to take out special zombies because this ammo is quite rare. We don't want to spend it on uh, useless stuff This one is going to be particularly useful for taking out infestations because you don't need to kill all the zombies in a house to destroy an infestation. You actually just need to destroy the screamers inside. So you can be outside, shoot a few zombies through the window, or at least the screamers through the window. And that will be it. Alright, I didn't quite want to do that, but I also didn't really want to drive around. So... <laughs> Here we go. We'll have a talk with these guys. Don't know if these guys are going to turn hostile or not, or if something else is going to be happening, but we'll find out. This guy is a sheriff, so he's probably going to say something about troublemakers hey. and so on. Hope you're being careful out there. We have interesting neighbors. Haley and Ezra could tell you more about them. Catch you Thanks for the tip. All right. So maybe not these guys. Hey. Surviving Good soldiers. Uh, I guess uh, this guy counts. Haley then. Folks, the red storage units are always up late making noise. Some people like to party no matter what, I guess. Parties? Sounds uh -huh. dangerous. See you. Alright. Ezra. I was bored, so I went out and found a few things. You're welcome. Oh, nice. Thank you, Connie. The people at the hunter's house are downright scary. They don't seem like they trust anyone. Sounds like some bad apples. Maybe we can help them not be so on edge. Yeah. So long. All right. Uh oh. We have some people to meet. These guys are on the edge of town, and these guys are also actually not too far away. So that is nice. Before we go on, though, I am going to try to clear out. This storage. All right, we're probably going to make some noise here. Huh. Apparently not. Though, but he says we're in the clear. Did he see me? Yeah, he did, I think. But maybe we can. <laughs> Alright, he just lost awareness, I guess. Got a bit frustrated. <laughs> Good. 
that searches outposts for some materials or fuel that will both of those will be useful especially if i want to recruit another person with toolkit very nice if i want to recruit another person i am going to need to upgrade to the other bed and then we can upgrade to a new house a new outpost once we find this uh yeah find uh, a decent supply of uh, influence. Okay. So we'll search this out. In case of chemicals, we'll use those for upgrading. And I just found a bar of soap as well with extremely high uh, trade value. We'll trade that with this uh, group. What's going on, hun? Because I why not? Stuff to trade. How about Fresh it? bar of sure. soap. Nice. In the case of chemicals, we'll keep. Uh, uh, we will also keep. Of course the car repair stuff because that is also going to be quite rare i think anyway it would be good to stockpile a bunch of fuels uh, like uh, the gas cans and the toolkits and so on we'll grab the roll of canvas the chemicals because those are heavy we'll keep this in our pockets because we can and it will be useful in a pinch if we get in trouble and then uh, let's go meet the neighbors Oh crap, these are not friendly people. That uh, is uh, a group of hostiles, I'm going to have to deal with that, but I cannot deal with that. Well, these zombies are uh, making trouble for me. Good thing I brought along the sniper rifle though. Right, those are the rear lights gone. <laughs> the potentially dangerous folks living at the hunter's house. Well, we have confirmed that they are in fact dangerous. Um, how do I want to approach this? We have some rocks or the shed from the back. We don't really have, because the problem here is Uh, I don't really have good cover to shoot from here, I guess. Alright, let me go through the back. And see what their angle is like from there. We could even snipe them from up on top of the hill. Oh, this is pretty good. down oh we have a zombie coming in crap this is not going the way I wanted to oh shit oh shit oh shit <laughs> oh crap all right so at least we have a little bit of distraction from the zombies but oh I need to deal with that guy first though oh Jesus Oh, and I need to reload, and the zombie as well is... Can we get a reload in before this zombie... Alright, that is one. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Alright, we can deal with the zombies. Come on. Oh, down it goes. Alright, that is quite loud. That sniper rifle is not quite as strong as I imagined it would be. Especially since it's quite rare, this ammo type. But yeah, seems like we took out all the dangerous people here, though there might be one left, because the quest mark didn't tick off. Right, we'll take that one. The brush axe will take it, we'll take that. Uh, actually, the combat knife isn't that great. It's just a close combat weapon, it doesn't really do anything we'll go ahead and drop that now oh, the car is just down the road we can also search this person though the other person is down by the house took three headshots though it's it's a lot it's kind of crazy 
I will take a damaged micro dot PPK. Sure, we'll take another backpack. We'll take the cookery. We'll take the bag of snacks and we'll leave the rusty screwdriver because that doesn't really add a lot of value. So, yeah, I might also try to make this guy my leader because I already did the builder one one time. So as a result, uh, yeah, it might be more interesting actually to uh, try something new. Right. There might be another person here or not. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, he's not coming. Uh, he's not getting back up. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I guess these guys didn't want to talk well. Uh, yeah, I would say. We'll grab that other backpack as well. A big old shovel is uh, something we'll leave behind. Yeah, we'll leave that one. We'll get the strong painkillers and uh, we'll leave it like that. Alright. Then we'll drive over to the other people to finish off this quest line. Alright, getting pretty close. I don't think these guys in particular are going to get hostile. Uh, that sounds like a fight. Shit! Kill her again! Alright, we have some lights on the door anyway. I need to deal with these guys on the outside first, however. Meet the party animals is just a bunch of zombies in the building, I would think. We can deal with this one at a time, I suppose. Dodge. These were survivors, however, because you can search the bodies like this. So, <laughs> no longer, I suppose. But the survivors are always a good source of guns and so on. We have the stimulants. Uh, a standard backpack might still be worth taking. Most of my survivors have a backpack of six slots, so that one extra slot will make a big difference. Always good to find. A pile of weapon remains. We can stack that. That doesn't really add anything. A frag grenade I will definitely take, because that stuff is rare. Very rare. Ooh, backpack of eight. All right, what are we dumping? Bandage, I don't want to dump. None of these, actually. But I guess if I'm dumping anything, I am dumping those. And then we have a pistol. We can actually equip that so it doesn't take a slot. That one is filled up. So now we just need to enter the building. I can't search it, unfortunately. Oh, shit. A fucking zombie now. And I emptied this out anyway, so there's nothing left to take. Alright, so we have one group getting zombified. And now we have another group that was, uh, well, definitely not coming back as zombies because I pretty much shot them all in the head, I think. Anyway, they're not getting back up. There seems to be another zombie here, like a, a creep. One of those runners. Those really horrible, nasty runners. Anyway, back to base. Time to dump my things and then that will be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.